everyone, Kristen here from Team Brushna, and today I'm going to show you all how to create your own space shooter game using Brushna's Seek and Smash template. To get started, head to the official website which is brushna.io and scroll down until you see the game templates. Look for the Seek and Smash template and then press the Create button to open the editor. Once the editor has been open, you'll notice that we can customize different aspects of our game on the left and right hand side. These items include our game's avatar, background, interface, laser, collectibles, non-collectibles, and music. We'll get started by customizing our game's avatar. Click the Avatar tab to open up the options. Once the options have loaded in, you'll notice that there are a bunch of different ships to choose from. I personally like this one here, so it's the one that I will be taking into my game. Next, we'll customize our game's background by clicking the Background tab on the left-hand side. Check them all out and choose whichever one is your favorite. I personally like this one, so it's the one that I'll be adding to my game for now. Next, we'll customize our game's interface by clicking on the Interface tab and choosing between either the blue or pink interface option. I like the pink color, so it's the one that I'll be using. Afterward, we'll customize the laser that our ship will shoot by clicking the laser tab on the left-hand side of the editor. Here you'll notice again a bunch of different options, and I think I like this big red laser for my game. Next, we'll add some collectibles to our game. Click the Collectibles tab to see all of the different collectibles that we could add in our game. For my game, I plan on keeping it very simple, so I think I'll just add this lightning bolt here as a collectible. Next, we'll add in non-collectibles by clicking on the non-collectibles tab on the left-hand side of the editor. If a player collects a non-collectible in a Seek and Smash game, it will damage their health points. Check out all of the different options until you find one that you personally like. I think for my game I'll be adding one item here to not collect and I think I will use this space lettuce. Now that I've added a non-collectible to my game, I'm going to customize my game's music next by clicking on the music tab on the left side of the editor. On the music tab you can press the play button to listen to all of the different tracks and once you're happy with one that you like, you can press the plus button to add it to your game. I personally will be using this liquidity track in my game. Next, we'll head to the Game Info tab on the right-hand side of the editor. In the Game Info tab, we can customize our game's title, tags, category, and description. For my game's title, I'm going to put Avoid the Space Lettuce, as I feel like it fits my game perfectly since we're just going to try to collect lightning bolts and avoid the space lettuce. Next, we'll customize our game's tags. Add a tag like lettuce. I'll also add the funny tag as well. Moving on, we'll customize our game's category next. The categories that we can place our game in include games for good, enterprise, education, social and entertainment, health, and sports. Since my game is just a game for fun, I'm going to leave it at social and entertainment. Next, we can choose whether or not we'd like to collect our player emails by ticking this option on or off. I personally will be leaving this option off in my game. Now we're ready to customize our game's description. I think I'll put, avoid the space lettuce and collect the lightning bolts. Now that we're done with the game info tab, scroll back up and click on the levels tab on the right hand side of the editor. Here you'll notice that our game's assets that we picked earlier, like our game's avatar, background, and laser, are all displayed here. Since we have already customized these assets, we can scroll down to the question form next. In this section, we will tell the player what to seek and what to smash. For this, I'll put collect lightning bolts and destroy the evil space lettuce. Next, we'll customize our game's closing answer. The closing answer is the text that will pop up at the end of the level. For this, I'm just going to put, thank you for playing my game. Now we'll scroll down to the collectibles section. You'll notice that our lightning bolt that we added is here, but other items are here as well by default. Press the X button to remove these items. You'll notice here as well that you can customize the score points that each item is worth as well. I'm actually going to leave mine at 10. 
Next, we'll check out the non-collectibles section. Just like in our collectibles section, the non-collectibles has defaults, which we will delete. Now that we have our lightning bolt as our only collectible and our evil space lettuce as our enemy, we're actually ready to publish our game. Click the publish button at the top of the game editor to publish your game. Now our game is officially live. You can click the copy URL button to share it with your friends and family or press the play button to jump into playing the game.